What's up, Wayne Byrne here with darkfakes.net and once again we are inside of 3D Studio Max and this is part three of our house. Now this house is a slightly different one than the one we did before but however it's still basically the same. We've got a roof and we've got the bottom section. And so what we're going to do here is that we're just going to create some windows and some doors and uh, or some window holes and door holes for it and so uh, let's go ahead and jump into it okay the first thing we want to do here is choose our edible poly which is uh one other thing uh, i don't think i did this in the last lesson but if you choose the um, the bottom section of your house and then you uh, go down to your you choose from your modifier list scroll down and choose shell and once you choose shell and it give you the option as you you can see right here let's go ahead and let's just delete that okay and as you can see here it's just a simple line and if we go down and we choose the shell you can see that it gives us a thicker line and then we can come over here and then we can actually let's go to this one right here no not that one you can go to this one right here and you can make your line just a little bit thicker as you see there, it's just slightly thicker. Let's go ahead and put this thing at about two. Uh, two seems to be okay. You can also do the same thing to the uh, the roof of the house as well. And you can see that gives it a much better uh, shape than just the single line box that we had before. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do here. So let's select this area. Make sure edible poly is selection, choose polygon, and select that. We wanted to select both of them. And so click back here and click here. Now choose inset. And as you can see, the back of it is insetting with us at the same time. So we'll get about right up in here. Now right click and choose scale. And then let's scale it down to about right up in there. I mean, that looks, what you want to do is that you want to make a window, almost the size of a window. Have one on this side and one on that side. Now, after you've chosen that, simply hit the delete key. Just hit the, the delete key on your keyboard. And as you can see, you've now got a hole going through your house. Okay, so that is how you put holes in your house so to speak yeah so okay now the next thing that we want to do here is that we want to um, to get a door uh, so let's go ahead and scroll up here and we'll choose edge let's go up here and choose the top edge hold down the control key go down and choose the bottom edge come over here and choose connect and then choose chamfer I reckon that's how you pronounce that Come over here and you get this weird looking cursor. Put it right there on the line. And then what we what we want to do is we want to drag it to about right up in here. Then right click and choose move. Let's go ahead and move this over to about right up in there. Okay. And so now after it's moved, come over here and click on connect. And then just grab a hold and drag this up to the top to about right up in there. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to choose our line, so it's that one, and then that one, there we go, and then come over here and click on connect, and then drag down like so. So about right there at the bottom, Let's, whoops, scroll over, kind of about right there, that seems about good. Now I come over here and choose polygon, click right here and that is our door and then hit your delete key. Okay and now we've got a door and we've got two end windows. We can also add in another window over here and so what we want to do is we want to come over here and choose edge, click here, hold down alt key, oh sorry, hold down your control key click bottom come over here choose connect and then hit chamfer I reckon that's how you pronounce that 
And that seems about good right up in there. Come over here and choose connect. And then open it up like so. And then come over here and choose polygon. And then click right here and choose delete. And now we've got our our somewhat completed house. So just uh, follow the instructions and uh, from part one, two, and three, and you can have a house that looks like this, and you can add some furniture into it, and one of these days some electricity and cable and high-speed internet. You'd be set in your 3D virtual world. All right, Wayne Barron here with darkfix.net. Y'all have a rocking week. Bye-bye.